Hi, this is James with the One Hour Smart Home, and today we are going to show you how to check if you have a neutral wire in your light switch box, which is often required for smart home or smart switches. So, first thing you want to get uh, started with uh, before anything, obviously, is turn the power off. Um, it's always good to make sure that you've got the circuit off and you've got everything turned off. If you want to double check, uh, a great way to check if you've got the power off is a non-contact voltage meter. And you just uh, put it right up against the switch and then once you open up the uh, cover plate, you're going to be able to actually make sure that you've got the power off. I know I've got the power off, but uh, we've got a typical light switch set up here. So you're gonna go to the light switch and the first thing you're gonna do after you turn the power off is you're gonna take off the cover plate. Okay, so we're removing the cover plate and uh, we're gonna check and see if we have a neutral wire here. So this is what you're gonna see um, in terms of a light switch. This is just a typical light switch. And if you are looking to install a smart light switch, uh, we've got a couple of recommendations below down in the links. Um, I personally like the uh, Leviton Wi-Fi light switches, the one hour smart home light switches that we make, as well as Lutron Cassetta. Um, you know, all of those are good options, but here's the thing. The majority of smart light switches require a neutral wire. So, uh, if you're planning on putting those in, you need to make sure that you have a neutral wire. So we're going to show you how to check for a neutral wire. So we're just uh, going to remove the two screws holding the light switch on the junction box here. And uh, an important thing to note is let's say that you look through this and you don't have any neutral wire uh, in your light switch. What can you do then? How can you get a smart switch? Well. Um, a lot of people think, oh, well, I'm just going to add a neutral wire. That is a lot of work. You probably don't want to do that. But there are smart light switches that work without a neutral wire. Um, the Lutron Cassetta light switches, which I mentioned before, those are probably the best light switches that will work without a neutral wire and uh, are a great option for automating your lights, your uh, light switches and your home. So, all right, we've got uh, both screws undone here now. And we can just pull the light switch forward, which is what we're going to do here. And I'm going to give you a good view of the inside wiring here. So you want to be careful when you pull the light switch out. You don't want to like, uh, you know, pull too hard. Just give it a, a firm but gentle, steady tug. So I'm going to go through what we've got here. These black wires, these are the hot wire this is where the electricity comes in. And where the electricity goes out to the light, the uh, the light fixture, that is called the load wire. So that's this one right here, okay? Um, these bare copper wires, those are your ground wires, okay? So we've got the ground wire there. And then look what we've got back here. This white wire, okay? This white wire is a neutral wire. That is what you need in order to install a smart light switch in a lot of cases. So this uh, particular junction box, this wiring does have a neutral wire. So you could install pretty much any smart light switch you want because you have a neutral wire here available. So you've got your hot, you've got your load wire, you've got a neutral wire available, and then you've got your ground wires here. So you could install very easily a smart light switch here. That is how to check to see if you have a neutral wire. And typically the neutral wire is just bent back in there in the switch box. And you can pull it out. And, um, you know, if you were going to add a light switch, you would just unscrew this wire nut. You would connect your neutral wire. And you would connect your hot wire, your hot wire and your load wire to the new smart switch. And obviously the ground wire. And then you'd be ready to go. So, um... That is how you check for a neutral wire. If you are, uh, you didn't find a neutral wire in your switch box, in your light switch box, really, like I said before, the best option then is Lutron Cassetta. They're really smart switches. They have a ton of functionality. Uh, I highly recommend them. They're one of the best smart switches out on the market, but there aren't a lot of options other than Lutron Cassetta that work without a neutral. So I would just uh, get those light switches. We'll, we'll put a link to those below, but if you have a neutral wire, 
uh, you're open to the dozens of different manufacturers and dozens of different light switches that are out there on the market. So uh, in this case, we could use pretty much anything that we wanted to. Um, and we'll just uh, show you how this goes back together. So you're going to tighten the uh, screws back on here. I like to get it about like halfway tight on one of the screws and then insert the other one. Um, it's just a little bit easier then because otherwise the light switch starts to uh, kind of just get all whopper jawed there. And we're gonna screw this one in, just screw them in all the way. And then we're gonna put the cover plate back on. But uh, you can see it's pretty easy to uh, check and see if you've got a neutral wire. It's not something that's overly complicated, not something that takes a long time. And I highly recommend that you do that before you make a decision on smart light switches because it's just gonna be uh, a heck of a lot easier to know what you've got and your options are gonna be way more open if you check out everything that is available. So um, highly recommend doing that before you make the decision on smart light switches. Uh, smart light switches, I've got them throughout my house and uh, love them. They're a great uh, great option for controlling your lighting. Highly recommend anyone considering getting smart light switches to do so. Um, you can check out our reviews and uh, all the information we've got on smart light switches at onehoursmarthome.com. And uh, please, before you leave here, like and subscribe to this video. It helps us make more videos like this and uh, give you guys really good information so that you can automate your house. You can uh, get your home upgraded with the latest technologies and all that good stuff. So I've got uh, Ultimate Smart Lighting Guide that uh, we'll link to below and some recommendations for smart light switches, which I like. Both ones that use neutral wires and ones that don't. And uh, any of those options are going to be a good option for uh getting smart lighting in your home so once you have smart lighting why i like it so much is because you're going to be able to use your voice to turn on and off your light switches just by saying alexa or google you know turn off the light switches so at the end of the day that is amazing when i'm laying in bed and uh, it's just been a long day to be able to say hey Elliot. A-L-E-X-A, -E turn off the lights. It's just a great feeling. It's like magic and uh, one of those things you really tend to enjoy. So thank you guys. We're going to bring you more videos in the future and hope this was helpful and showed you how to check and see if you have a neutral wire in your light switch. Thank you.